Hey everyone, back in the kitchen again, and I'm here to talk to you about some other new technology, running tech, surprisingly enough. And today what I wanted to chat about is something I've been testing out for a few different publications, and I'm, I'm really excited about this. And these essentially are smart insoles. We've heard a lot over the years about smart shoes. When are we gonna get smart shoes with chips in them? We saw uh, Adidas do it with my coach. Nike did it back in the day with their Nike Plus training system. But it's been a while since we've seen that come on and evolve. Now finally, in the last eight months to 12 months, we're seeing some new companies arrive that are putting sensors into, not into the shoes, but into the soles. Real benefit of that is actually that you can swap out your soles between shoes um, and you're not kind of restricted to one set of shoes, which we all know is a great thing because you might train in one pair of shoes and race in another pair of shoes and also shoes wear out quicker than you want your technology to wear out. So what do these things actually tell you? Well, smart insoles are essentially aimed at giving you a whole load of data around your running dynamics. What do I mean by that? Well, it will tell you things that you can pick up off your watch but go further now, so things like cadence, but it'll also tell you things like your vertical oscillation, so how much you're moving up and down, another way of describing that is bounce, so if you're up and down, you're, you're kind of less efficient. It will look at where your feet are striking the ground. So you can see specifically from the tech that I'm just about to talk you through where your feet are striking. So if you're, if you're forefoot, midfoot or heel striking on left and right. Talking of left or right, it will also show you your ground contact balance. So what does that mean? If I'm hitting more often with my left or for longer with my left than my right, it will show that. It will show me how long I'm striking the ground for, my ground contact time. So, you know, a reduced ground contact time is a good sign, sort of, of a more efficient runner, arguably, anyway. Now, there's a whole host of other things that it does, but essentially all of this is, it's like putting a really kind of powerful kind of lab computer into your, into your shoes. All of it is fired to an app on your smartphone, which you can see in real time. You can see a heat map of your kind of pressure of your feet, and you can see real time updates on all of those stats. So what's the name of the one that I'm talking about right now? There are a few of them, but the one that I've been testing out recently is called Arian. Now these Arian smart sensors look a little bit like this. Um, it consists of a, a, a sole, an insole, that slid, slides under your normal soles, um, and it has some electronics attached to the side. Now in here, there are eight sensors under the feet spread around to, to capture your movements. And it's attached to this little bit of electronic uh, electronic cable that goes out to a pod. So what you have to do in order to fit them is, let's see if I can do this seamlessly, take out your other sole, take the Arian, slide that bad boy into the shoe, your normal sole then goes in on top, like that, and you know it, it doesn't really make a huge difference inside. You do have this I can show that to the camera. You do have this hanging out, and this sits, slots up the side of the shoe. And then what you need to do is to take this clip, and it slides. It's quite tricky to get on, but that's good because it means it stays in place. You slide it over the shoe. Now that sets you for running. So you, as you can see, you have got a little bit on the inside. And is that uncomfortable? People have asked me already. It's on the runs that I've had, there have been a very few uh, amounts of times where it might have moved out of place a little bit and, and irritated for a second, but it's fairly easy to adjust, and to be honest, I haven't really noticed it too much. So once you've got that in place, and it locks tight, you've actually got a second part of it. This is the pod. So, as you can see, it's basically a little black pod, and it's got some little electrodes on the background, and it's got some LEDs on the front. This jumps on there like that and you twist and lock it into place. Again, it takes a little bit of doing, but that's good because it means it stays firm. And then once it's in place, that's where it sits on the shoes. And then you slip your shoes on and you run. And you know, it will sit, it will sit in place, it doesn't move around. Um, these lights, I won't show you now, but they do light up. And one nice little trick is that you can change the color of them to match your shoes if you want to. Some people might like to do that. Put one of these on each shoe and you're good to go. Pair it with the app and then you're ready to start collecting data. Now, 
along with the data that I've already mentioned, the, the really nice thing about Aaron is that this is uh, an intelligent system that coaches you as you go and learns you as you, as, as you run. So you'll do a few runs that enable it to form a baseline of your own running technique. And then from there on in, Arian in the app will offer coached runs. So it can take you through a whole load of um, metric based uh, training runs where you get in-ear real-time coaching over your headphones to tell you whether or not you're, you're in the cadence zone that you want to be in, if you're in the foot strike zone that you want to be in, um, or various uh, other, other coaching sessions based around the metrics that you want to improve. Now, what Arian also does really is takes away the, the need for you to really know and understand all of this, you know, the, the, the quite complicated sort of sports science and biometrics. And if you follow the plan, the idea is that it will improve you just by doing what you're told. So, you know, I've spoken to the, the founders of this and it was one of the questions that I asked was, you know, how, how do I know that it's trustworthy? How, you know, if I'm going to train for a marathon, I'm going to give myself over to this chip, I'm going to give myself over to the machines, how do I know that it's trustworthy? Well, they've spent a long time uh, working with various kind of research labs at universities and you know, one of the things that it's increasingly important with all of this technology that everything that comes to this is, is, is grounded in hardcore research. There is, according to the, to the makers of this, there is nothing in here that hasn't been um, thoroughly tested and, and isn't based on some kind of uh, proven research. Um, there's nothing in here that's just in there for the sake of, of, of being shiny, if you like. Um, they've deliberately held back features that you know, might actually make the device a little bit more consumer friendly, but they're not willing to put them in there until they've actually put them through thorough tests that they can say, this is something that's really gonna benefit you as a runner. I really like that spirit. You, you, know, you, you, you want to know that these things are actually improving your running. Um, Arian's other sort of balance is, is really interesting. They're very much skewed towards preventing injury as much as they are about improving performance. Um, again, the founder spoke to me and you know, made a very, very, very valid point, which was, you know, injured runners don't perform very well. So the idea here is that um, Arian looks at your own unique kind of biomechanics and works to improve that up to a certain point at a certain pace before it will level you up where you can start to move up to a higher pace and then the tests will go back to um, again a more sort of basic test where you're, you're kind of building the form and the, the, the strength in your form before you start to add on pace and, and, and performance which to me sounds like a very very smart thing to do. As a runner it's quite hard to stomach because we all want to go out there and, and you know be running our, our fastest paces um, as often as we Excuse me, as often as we can, but actually, yeah, if you're if you're being sensible, actually get your form right, and then the fast will follow. Um, I've run with them probably for maybe a, about a month now. I'm only a little bit into the coaching plan, so I don't want to make too many judgments on whether or not the coaching plan's uh, really effective. Uh, but what I have found is that the the experience of seeing the data in the app post runs is is pretty pretty impressive and I, there's, there's lots of stuff that you just won't get from other sources you can't get it on a watch or at least not as accurately because these are these are gathering data from the point at which you're hitting the floor rather than maybe sort of cadence off the wrist which is sort of happening up here so there's, there's an increased level of accuracy if I had some criticisms when I've done my cadence runs the the voice coaching has been a little bit interruptive it's been a little bit too frequent so if you're you're trying to run within a narrow window of uh, a foot strike and if you fall outside of it let's say you hit 169 beats per minute rather than you're in the sort of 181 each time you float in and out of that zone it will it will tell you it will say you, you know your, your foot strike is outside the zone and then you go back in it's like your foot strike is inside the zone your foot strike is outside the zone and you just keep doing this and if if you're on one of those runs where you're you're training but you're on the wire you're going to be told quite a lot and that was a little bit frustrating but again founders tell me that that's something that they've heard the feedback from a lot of the users and they're, they're working on to try and make it a, a more sort of fluid and a useful less interruptive experience they don't want Arian to 
become something that breaks into that the beauty of you know those nice runs. It, it needs to needs to support and encourage and help, but you don't want it to be barking at you all the time. Um, from a from a design point of view, some people won't like the fact that you've got this big thing clipped onto the outside of your of your shoe, and I can get that. Uh, I have to say that when I've been running, I don't really notice it once it's on. You'll notice it if you're actually wearing a pair of shoes that you kind of you walk a walk to work in, or you wear as sort of some casual on a, on a weekend before you go for your run and after you go for your run. It's a little bit annoying to have to take it off and take the insoles out and or to walk with the clip still on. So that's you know there is there is a toss up here, but maybe you just keep it on your on your running shoes and you don't wear them all the time. I quite like the fact that it's a bit chunky. Some sensors take them off, put them in your bag. Ah, where's my sensor? I lose it. You know, it's I've I've been guilty of you know searching through a big gym bag and you can't find it. So the fact that it's it's, it's a bit chunky is a bit of a benefit. They've made it black. I might have made it a different colour as well. You know, some people won't want it to stand out from the shoe, but I quite like to be able to see in a in a kit of black t-shirts and what have you what what's there. Um, other than that, you know, it's got a good solid battery life. It works, it pairs very well with the phone. The real-time data was always there, it never dropped out for me. Um, and I think this could be, it's early days for technology like this, it really is. And I think that the, the level of analysis and detail that it gives you is, is really, really interesting. And I think this is one area to watch. So this is the Arian, pause there because I don't actually know what this says, but this is, I don't know if it's got another bit. I know it's the Arian Smart Souls or it's the Arian Shoe Pod. I think it's just the Arian Running System. We'll call it that. The Arian Running System. Oh yeah, it will set you back for two pods, two soles, around about 240 euros. I'm just going to check the numbers. Should have memorized this, but computer. Bear with me, people. 259 euros, 240 quid or something. It's a fair investment, but you know, if you want to run better, maybe it's worth it.